Hello and welcome to From Design to Hugo Part 4. In this part, we will be building blog post page. In the last part, we finished the home page. So inside the blog post page, we'll have our title and the blog post. So let's start by creating our new layout. Let's open up editor. Um, we are using home list html for our home page now we can move on to the blog list html and i will do a little bit cheating by going to the home and copying the contents of it but not the scripts because we not gonna have our slider on the blog post page all right now we need a content to see the blog it will give a 404 right now. So to go to create that, let's go to the content, create a new folder called blog, and inside that create a new file called index underscore index.md. Give the title of blog and give the type of blog. Now we should have something. Yeah, we have the home page because we just copied uh, the home page list uh, HTML. So let's change some stuff. Basically, we have to remove all of that because we don't need those partials. <coughs> uh, we uh, don't need a partial, right? No, we can just build our stuff directly inside this list.html. We will be needing. We can just build our uh, HTML inside that file. So we gonna be needing a background color of that, and let's create a div for it. Class blog posts. Gonna have a title called blog, right? Sorry, blog posts. And then we will have our blog posts. Um, give it blog posts, name it as blog posts or blog posts items, yeah. Blog posts title. blog post card uh, yeah I will name that as a blog post card because it looks like a card it's gonna have an image title and the release date of the post image uh, the title of it with h2 or h3 I'm not sure about it let's give it h3 blog post title and a date okay give them the classes they deserve blog posts card image Blog post card title, blog post card date, and also change that to div to anchor tag because I want the whole card to be a clickable. Give it a href. All right, yeah. Um, okay. You can uh, move on to the CSS. Go to the assets, CSS, partials. Now we can move on to the blog folder. Um, blog posts, CSS, CSS. And add that file into the imports. Copy that. Name it as blog. Uh, 
blog blog posts scss and open that the file blog posts we gonna need a container so just add that blog posts container Uh, it's going to have max width of size screen x large. Take it all of the width. And from top to bottom 0, center the x axis. Yeah. We're going to have title. What else we going to have? Blog post items. Also, we're going to have blog post cards. It's going to have image. Oops. Um, title and dates. Okay, let's start with the title. It's 80 pixel inter bold. One weight 700, and the color of it is black. Um, we will be need some spacing like hundred and thirty pixels. And change its background color to this color. Yes. Give it a margin bottom, 80 pixel. And now we can start to the card. It will have white background and the padding I guess for the okay Am I doing something wrong or... Oh, it's an anchor tag, so I should make it display block or something like that. Okay, it's crashed. Okay, it's not working. I don't know what's happened. Um, maybe we don't need that. Okay. Let's find an image on Unsplash again. Computer again. Uh, let's pick that. Copy image link. Uh, 
uh, give it a full width, but the height. Four hundred sixty-three pixels. Okay. Four hundred sixty-three pixels, and if uh, this broke your orientation, please keep it. Yes. Give it a margin bottom of thirty pixels. For the title, it's 40 pixel into regular. And the color will be black. Uh, its margin bottom is 20. For the date, it's into regular 24. And the color will be this this thing. Yes. Uh, I don't like the image, it's not high resolution. So let's find something else. Okay, let's go with that guy. Copy image link. Hmm, it's better I okay, I think. All right, and now we need these guys, so let's go with this layout and copy this to three four five have five of them all right, but how we can achieve that? I will use grid c s s grid for that. And let's go to the CSS blog post items. Make it display grid. It changed nothing. So we should sell that. Uh, grid templates columns, I guess. Make it two. Am I right? No. Let's ch uh, check it out on the internet. CSS grid. Display grid. Grid column. Template columns. Hmm. All right. And it's auto auto. Okay, now we have two columns. Let's give them some gap. Fifty pixels. Okay. But I want the first one uh, with a full width. How we can do that? We can do that by. Hmm. Give it area. Grid column. Let's try that. Uh, for the first. Um, card we have let's first make its background color to red to see is it working or not okay this is the card we wanted so let's try grid column make it one one no 
Mm, how we can do that? I want just one item to pick a bunch of lines. Let's try that. Uh, grid column starts one. Grid column and two. No. Row column. Hmm. First and maybe this is gonna work. Let's make it first and this end. No, it didn't. Hmm. It's quite challenging. <laughs> okay, that's probably what I want. What's this pen does? If I make it three, it's gonna work. Those are not span. Span T columns, okay. Grid column one span two. Yay, that's what I wanted. Okay, thanks. All right, we have our layout ready. We can give more spacing at the bottom, but that one also looks fine. Okay. Now I think we can move on to the blog post page, single blog post page. I can copy that into layouts, blog, single. change its name to blog posts blog posts and change that blog posts and create a sample content inside a blog <laughs> like test.md title will be test and the type will be blog this is a test contents if I go to the slash test it shows that that means it's working okay inside the HTML we're gonna need a title we will need the date Class blog post dates twenty one December twenty twenty one. We will need our content and there's a continue reading place. Make it H two continue reading let me just copy that from this location okay blog posts continue reading or blog posts 
um, what we can call it. Naming is the worst thing in the world. Uh, blog posts, items, let's call it items, I'm not sure. Post items, wrapper, blog post, items, title. Yes, we named them. So let's move on to the CSS. Go blog, blog, post as CSS, add it to the main. Go to the blog posts, blog posts, blog posts, title, blog post dates. For the content, now we can start using some real Hugo. Dot content. This will pl uh, place the content we typed in the markdown onto the page. And for that, we are using uh, this variable dot content. It need a container, blog, post, container, you know, the same stuff with uh, size, screen, x large, take the full width, margin, zero, auto. Uh, for the title, it's inter 80 pixel bold. And the color is black. The date is inter again and 40 pixel. And the weight is regular, but the color is 9C, 9C. For the pixel, for the pixel margin bottom for the title, and we need some gap. Hundred thirty pixel. Okay. Hundred twenty. And I like to wrap that content with a div to protect it. Walk post content. Okay, and For the blog post items, blog post items, blog post items title, and blog post items wrapper. Um, oops. For the items, uh, we gonna go with the title. Um, it's inter bold 550 50 pixel uh, font family inter and size 50 pixels. Color is black and the font weight is 700. Is margin top under twenty. It's 
80 pixel margin bottom for the title. Uh, for the wrapper, you can use display grid again. I sort of like the grid. Um, grid templates columns auto auto. Okay. You can add another one to make it look more loaded. Hmm. Wait, what? Hmm. It uses, I think, yeah, I got that. As you can remember, we wrote uh, end of type on the blog post card CSS. So I go to the blog post items and do that. Okay. Let me check the blog page to see is it working? Yeah, cool. Go to the test again and change the background. So that's Okay. Yes. Now we have some oh, we need some gap. It is 50 again, I guess. 40. I want to make it 50. Okay. Cool. Uh, now we need to format mm, that content. If you look at the HTML, it's paragraph. You automatically converts markdown into HTML. That's a uh, helpful. So let's go to the content, yeah, go to the paragraph. For the paragraph, it's 42 pixel. By the way, it's enter again. 42 pixel font weight, it's light, so 300. And for the color, it's black. All right. Uh, also, it has line height of 70. Um, okay. What else we need? Let's first import that content into the markdown to see our uh, template is correct. Okay, there's the first paragraph. And the second one is the same, I guess. Yeah, so we can copy that. They do not have space. So we have to give them some spacing. AD. So if it's 80, you can give it half of it, like margin or padding. Mm, let's give it margin. Top to bottom, 40. But mm, what if I make it padding? Mm. Is it better or worse? Mm, it's better. Make it padding. Alright. Now we can add image. Um, and splash. Find something else to add. Uh, I don't know. Nature. Uh, this image is looking fine. 
copy image link. Add that. Okay. Now go to the CSS. It's image because it's an image tag. Get full width. And if we look at the design, I added image alt text at the bottom to describe what it is. So how can we show it to the user? But if you show that to user, it will require some JavaScript and I don't want to do that. I don't know. Let's just skip that because it should not be an alt text. It's a descriptive text or something else that we can add. I'll work on it later. Maybe we should need to create a shortcut for that. But otherwise, uh, it is looks like ended. We are blog posts <coughs> page and blog posts page. So maybe I can update the header to move with the navigation. Go to the common partials and go to the header. Make home slash blog slash blog. It's not really about in the future we're gonna have slash about and slash context. That I can go to the home blog uh, for the test purposes, you can go to the blog posts. Uh, it's on the list. Give it a slash blog slash test URL. Test it. Right. Okay. I think it's ready. So in the next part, we probably will the about and the contact page so thanks for watching again see you next time